hello and welcome again to aa home gardening thanks to all my subscribers and anyone new that view my content welcome today we'll be discussing our sorrel or rosetta so in jamaica we call this sorrel <music> here in the UK when you say sorrel there's a type of um, leafy veg vegetable that they call sorrel but this one is not that one this is proper Jamaican sorrel okay so I have the dry version here so in Jamaica in the Christmas season this is the seasonal drink so we have to look at the sorrel drink to go with our pudding and our gungu peas and rice and all those things so they call it hibiscus flowers as well in jamaica we have another pretty flowers that we call hibiscus but this one is in the same family it's called the same so that's the dry version so what i do i make this here but i have to use the dry version because i don't have access to the proper fresh one straight from the the plant can also make tea as well so instead of just a drink you can make it like a tea you just boil up your water put some of these in there let it simmer and then you can drink it it is so nutritious there's a subscriber that is called dan Primaculture food forest he's a jamaican as well living in the states in the warm surroundings and he has some beautiful sorrel plant oh there to look at if only I was living nearby, I would go over there every every year and just harvest his sorrel. So go over to his Dan Prima Culture Food Forest. He has some lovely sorrel plant. So what happened? This year I wanted some sorrel, but you have to start them early in the UK. And the funny thing is, is in the cooler season, so like November thereabout, before these beauties start to come into bloom and all ready for the cooler season. Because even in Jamaica, it is like November, December that the sorrel get ready. But the problem here in the UK, that's when autumn and frost can start. So I'm not planting any outside. I'm not chancing it. So they're in the polytunnel or I tunnel as you know it in the US. Or they're in container if it's outside and then when the weather change I can move them back quickly in I bought 10 seeds online none germ germinate no zero germination rate 10 seed nothing came up and I was thinking oh I'm not gonna bother and then to my surprise one of my supporter one of my subscriber came by and he was like, I have a present for you. And I was like, hmm, wonder what that could be. And he presented me with 10 sorrel seed. Isn't that lovely? It's like it just read my mind. I wanted it. I tried. It failed. And that's exactly what he came and offered me. And sorrel is so good. You know, it's loaded with vitamins A, C, E, B6, calcium. Oh, so much things. So much minerals. So much things. So what happened now? So mine, probably if you look at my tour in July at the allotment, you'll probably see some of the sorrel in the polytunnel. These leftover beauties I'm planting for the same subscribers that gave me the seed. Somewhere is, somewhere mine. So he haven't got the chance to collect these as yet. So they are getting a bit root bound and things like that. So I have to pop them up in a bigger container. I have a huge container. I don't know if I can. When I'm finished, I'm going to turn around and show how big the container is. It's a massive, massive arm. And it's about 80, 85 centimeters wide as well. It's a massive container. So I'm going to put most of these in here. They can stay on. He doesn't have to transplant it afterwards because it's a massive container. And then if he wants to, he's not collecting it until the end of August. It's just in the beginning of July, so I'm going to plan these out. I'm super excited to have fresh sorrel here in the UK because I do buy these often. I do. And they're not the cheapest either. And they're dry. I haven't had fresh sorrel 
for so many years as kids my dad would have this in the front garden and then as soon as the christmas season like probably a week or so before christmas he would go and he would harvest it and yes we the kids have to sit on the veranda take it all off you know because there's a seed in the middle i post a link up um above so you can see exactly what it looked like so you take off the outer bit like the flower and there's a seed in the middle so you have to sit there on the veranda to take off all these things and then the night or two before christmas my mom would then prepare the sorrel drink and you know have to have a pimento seed you know all spice and all those things but that's another story oh so refreshing if you haven't tried sorrel go to one of your local um asian shops or caribbean shops and it just say dry ibistas or sorrel and then you can just have a nice refreshing tea from it it's so good over here they call it rosella or roselle so it's different different name we just use it as sorrel so i'm gonna put these away now and then i'm gonna transplant these beauties oh it's so good and the thing is as well it makes a lovely jam have you tried it in jam before let me know in the comment section i haven't tried it in jam because in our tradition in jamaica we normally just use it to make our beautiful december treat you know that main drink for december so that's how we used to do it but um i think it's australia where for them it is mostly for the jam and i was told the jam is super expensive i've never tried it in jam but if all of mine is successful and produces loads because you know sometimes with sorrel you probably get one and two on the plant sometimes you get loads on the plant nice root system there's no guarantee how much you will get so if i get loads then i will try it in the jam but at the moment i'm just thinking of having it to make my lovely drink ah, exciting times so this is the first 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 i'm growing sorrel in the uk there's a lot of first this year as you know my chickpeas was the first then i'm hoping my chocho my chayati will produce for me i've grown it this is my third season i'm trying to grow it but it haven't produced for me yet so i'm hoping it will produce for me you know these things are loaded with calcium you know they have um, magnesium in there potassium there's even zinc this is a healthy healthy drink and it's also have iron in there and it helps to lower your high blood pressure as well these things that mother nature gives us they do wonders for the body if only we know exactly what plants you know that does what it is so pretty and it's so nice oh it just comes up and they have like the red stem there green stem there it's just a superb plant have you tried growing sorrel in a cold climate before how did it get on were you able to harvest before the winter kicks in because as i said that's the disadvantage of growing this plant is that it will not ready until the earliest would be like late october so normally november december they're about and you know in that time zone is when our temperature changes so if you're growing it here my advice would be grow it in a container that's movable so in case it doesn't fruit in time and the weather changes then you can move it indoors because there's no use planting all these beauties looking forward to it then the weather changes and you lose it that's not worth it is it so mine are in container or they're in the polytunnel so when the weather does changes, it is still protected from the frost. Oh, sorrel drink in Jamaica. Imagine here in cold, cold. You know, excited, Avi. When I show you, I'm harvesting these beauties in autumn. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You will be more excited than me. I'll be so excited. So I'm open. I'm praying. I have it in very loose soil as well. I don't want it to get any root rot or anything like that so the soil is quite loose and you can see it's quite healthy plant so what i'm going to do i'm going to water it in today 
properly and then tomorrow now i'm gonna get some liquid seed weed and give it a bit of feed as well so they're looking good they're looking really good these were started indoors they're a bit frizzy you know they say it's best to soak the seed in water for 24 hours or at least an hour usually if the seed flow to the top then it's no good if the seeds stay at the bottom then the seeds are good the first time i did it i didn't do the water test the second time i did it i did that and fortunately for me all the seeds stayed at the bottom so i'm going to take you down now i'm going to show you the massive container it's in then we're going to water it in actually i think i watering it first then i take it down and show you the size container this polytunnel is full as well i haven't given it a tour of my backyard garden since season so there's a tour coming up soon so i'm just gonna water this in take out all the air pockets let it stay until tomorrow and then i'm gonna feed him i'm so looking forward i have sweet potatoes and i have this jamaican sweet potatoes as well this year so imagine december time in our tradition in jamaica we need to have um sweet potato pudding so in in our culture that's what we have so if i could have it myself over here of my own sweet potato to harvest to make my pudding my own sorrel for my drink and i have the gungo peas for the rice and peas happy days so let me take it down and show you what's happening there you go it's a massive massive container that i've um, pl um planted those four in i don't think i can put more four in that one so it's a good good size container so there's my lovely lovely sorrel growing here in cold cold uk so the next time you see this update of my sorrel they should be a lovely massive plant then after that it should be harvest time harvesting all this beauty in autumn and the other thing is this drink either hot or cold it actually detoxes your body as well so this is a natural detox to the system it is superb guys if you haven't tried growing sorrel before in cold climate give it a go and then my journey, you can use my journey later on in the year to see if I was successful or not. And then I can give you the pros and cons. So let me know if you have grown sorrel in cold climate before. Please comment below. And if you like this video, remember to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, these are my beautiful Jamaican sorrel growing in cold, cold UK. Take care now. Bye-bye. Like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell.